My beloved brothers and sisters in Christ, today I would like to share with all of you a few messages given by Our Lady to bless Eleanor Aiello and the visions which she has experienced. Therefore, please take a moment to share this video with others, as we hope that this video will reach as many people as possible for the conversion of sinners and the salvation of souls. Let us now humbly ask the Most Holy Spirit to lead us in all ways, including the discerning of the messages within this video, as for God all things are possible, and with trust and love, please join me and say, Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and kindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your Spirit, and they shall be created, and you shall renew the face of the earth, O God, who by the light of the Holy Spirit did instruct the hearts of the faithful. Grant that by the same Holy Spirit we may be truly wise and ever enjoy his consolations. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the year 1947, Blessed Eleanor Aiello described a storm of fire never ne'er seen before. She will see it several times in her visions. In the year 1950, on the 7th of January, Our Lady said, An unholy propaganda has spread countless errors all over the world, even causing persecution, ruin and death. If men do not stop offending my son, the time is near when the Father's justice will send to earth the punishment it deserves, and it will be the greatest punishment that humanity has ever known. When an extraordinary sign appears in the sky, men will know that the world's punishment is near. From the visions from the 7th of April 1950, Satan reigns and triumphs on earth. See how many souls fall into hell. See how high the flames are. And the souls that enter it like snowflakes look like transparent embers. How many sparks? How many cries of hatred and despair? How much pain? See how many priestly souls look at the sign of their consecration. In their translucent hands, Our Lady, what torture, my daughter, for my maternal heart. How sad I am to see that men do not change. Father's justice demands reparation, otherwise, many will be lost. See how Russia will burn, Blessed Sister Eleanor says. Before my eyes stands an immense field covered with flames and smoke. Souls have been immersed there as in a sea of fire, and this fire, says the Virgin, will not be the work of men, but will be lit by the angels. Therefore, I ask for prayer, penance, and sacrifice so that I can act as mediatrix for my son in order to save souls. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Brothers and sisters, let us also recall the words given by our Lord Jesus Christ to St. Faustina, Tell all people, my daughter, that I am love and mercy itself. When a soul approaches me with trust, I fill it with such an abundance of graces that it cannot contain them within itself, but radiates them to other souls. My heart overflows with great mercy for souls, and especially for poor sinners. If only they could understand that I am the best of fathers to them, and that it is for them, that the blood and water flow from my heart as from a fount overflowing with mercy. I desire trust from my creatures. Encourage souls to place great trust in my fathomless mercy. Let the weak, sinful soul have no fear to approach me. For even if it had more sins than there are grains of sand in the world, all would be drowned in the unmeasurable depths of my mercy. Brothers and sisters, let us start to make reparations for the many sins which we in the world have committed. Let us fast and pray as much as possible for the conversion and salvation of souls, for peace in the world, and to console our Lord and Our Lady for the many crimes, blasphemies, and sins committed against them. Let us stay hopeful and always seek the mercy of God in all trials and tribulations let us not despair nor all become despondent, but with great confidence. Submit ourselves to his holy will, which is love and mercy itself. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.
St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Bear protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray, and do thou. O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all evil spirits who wander through the world for the ruin of souls. Amen, O glorious Prince St. Michael, Chief and Commander of the Heavenly Hosts, Guardian of Souls, Vanquisher of Rebel Spirits, Servant in the House of the Divine King and our Admirable Conductor, you who shine with excellence and superhuman virtue, deliver us from all evil, who turn to you with confidence, and enable us by your gracious protection to serve God more and more faithfully every day. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to thy protection implore thy help, or sought thine intercession was left unaided. Inspired by this confidence, I fly unto thee, O Virgin of Virgins, my mother, to thee do I come, before thee I stand, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not my petitions, but in thy mercy hear and answer me. Amen. To you, blessed Joseph, do we come in our afflictions, and having implored the help of your most holy spouse, we confidently invoke your patronage also, through that charity, which bound you to the Immaculate Virgin Mother of God, and through the paternal love with which you embrace the child Jesus, we humbly beg you graciously to regard the inheritance which Jesus Christ has purchased by his blood, and with your power and strength to aid us in our necessities. O most watchful guardian of the Holy Family, defend the chosen children of Jesus Christ, O most loving Father. Ward off from us every contagion of error and corrupting influence. O our most mighty protector, be kind to us and from heaven. Assist us in our struggle with the power of darkness, as once she rescued the child Jesus from deadly peril. So now protect God's holy church from the snares of the enemy and from all adversity. Shield, too, each one of us by your constant protection, so that, supported by your example and your aid, we may be able to live piously, to die in holiness, and to obtain eternal happiness in heaven. Amen. Let us also recite the act of contrition together, to ask God for forgiveness over all of the mortal, venial, and public sins which we have committed, that he may grant us the grace to feel remorseful over all these sins, bring us to true repentance, and to give us the necessary graces, to do all of the necessary penances in atonement for our sins, and to never commit these grievous sins any more. O oh my God, I am heartily sorry for having offended thee, and I detest all my sins because I dread the loss of heaven and the pains of hell, but most of all because they offend thee, my God, who art all good and deserving of all my love. I firmly resolve, with the help of thy grace, to sin no more, and to avoid the near occasion of sin. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for watching, and may God pour down an abundance of graces and blessings upon all of us. Till next time, stay blessed and keep praying.